highest civilian honor is going next week to a local man. He will receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom. 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan spoke to his family here in Kansas City about the civil rights leader's work and how it's even more relevant today. In 1942, 110,000 Japanese and Japanese Americans were incarcerated in concentration camps during World War II. Minoru Yasui was one of them, and he challenged the forced evacuation all the way to the Supreme Court. It was truly a, an action in the United States history that the government is not proud of. Lori Yasui will accept the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her father, who passed away. She'll go to D.C. next week with her family and daughter, Chani Hawkins. This comes at the same time the mayor of Roanoke, Virginia, requested to suspend any further Syrian refugee assistance, citing the Japanese internment, saying President Roosevelt felt compelled to sequester Japanese foreign nationals after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, and it appears the threat from ISIS now is just as real. An inaccurate statement about something Yasui fought his entire life to prevent from occurring again. He was one of the very few that was not afraid to stand up and say to whoever would listen, this is not right. This is something that should have never happened and I want to make sure it never happens again. My dad worked tirelessly for human rights, civil rights, uh, Japanese American rights. And it's just a great, great honor for, for him to receive. Who can put a price tag upon that kind of confinement? The internment ended in 1945. The government formally apologized more than 40 years later with the signing of the Civil Liberties Act of 1988, in part because of Yasui's work. In Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.